I, I still have to admit that most of the couples with a very, very significant age gap, if there is not, like if the relationship didn't grow into something else, like maybe they have a couple of children together or something, this relationship usually break up. If I would work two years in the industry, I would not see that. But because I work 14 years, I see that this, like that, that happened. All right, hot topic in this video today. We're talking about the age gap between the man and the woman when it comes to dating a woman from Ukraine, All right? We have a lot of experience in this. Not just Ukraine, Eastern Europe in general. Okay, uh, Eastern Europe, right, 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 right. And now I was also, also thinking like, is it Western Europe now? Like all the ladies don't move to Europe? Don't complicate things. Things are Just ladies, okay? Uh, age gap between our clients and our clients. Yeah, so yeah. what's reasonable, What's uh, what people expect, what we can kind of deliver on. Um, and Luba's been doing this, I always say, Sometimes I say she's doing it 13 years, sometimes 14 years. You tell them how long you've been a matchmaker for. 14, 14. Okay. Um, 14 years. Okay. Also, we would like to invite you. Uh, I was well, just going to say that. Okay, you go. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. So next uh, month, Luba's going to the matchmakers conference. She's been invited to it. And we're also going to have a meetup. We did one last year in San Antonio, which was really cool. And she wants to take you guys. It's going to be our clients, guys that are thinking about signing up, uh, successful couples that are together um, are going to come over. And... Um, She's going to take you out to a Ukrainian restaurant to eat some borscht and some varenikis because that stuff is so flavorsome and delicious. No, and we're I going to it. have a good time together. We're going to communicate. We're still thinking of a format because we're going to meet in the morning, like do some activities in New York uh, City and then come to this Ukrainian area because I want to introduce you to Brighton Beach. It's like we speak about that a lot. It's like this Russian Ukrainian community that is in New York that a lot of people don't even know, but it's like it's like the whole city and they yeah. only speak Russian. All the signs on the street uh, in, and she's in gonna Russian. Be, she's going to be teaching you guys some street pickup. Street, street. Now that's yep. a joke, we're not doing that, sorry, that's a bad joke. Okay, so I want to say about this age gap, you know, we, um, we a couple of years ago, we read a book uh, together, it's what we do sometimes, um, as, as the old people, uh, but anyway, we read the book about 3% Man by Corey Wayne, hello Corey, uh, our friend, uh, so um, this book really has a big impact on our job, on our clients, we recommended uh, that book to many, many people, and so we kind of like this kind of inspire us to create this formula as well, and and like we, there's 3% Man and there's 3%, 23% uh, of, of an age gap that we think is good yeah. between man and a woman. Yeah, so, so explain a little bit more. Well, well, a lot of people say, well, it's half plus uh, seven, seven years, I think yeah. it is. But some of this doesn't sort of make sense depending on how old you are or whatever. And it's a generic sort of thing that you see everywhere. So we, we run on one that we just call the 23% rule, even though we call it a rule, it's not really a rule, but it's just a very good... Um, for it's a good percentage, a good difference. Like we we uh, we checked it on every age. We checked it on the guy who yeah. are forty, on the guy who is fifty, or the guy who is sixty. Um, the, yeah, the older you get, the more you can squeeze out the age gap, more years into the age gap, right now. And so it doesn't mean that because you you, you we say twenty three years, we won't try for bigger, right? We always do. But like we say, this because it's a question that comes up a lot when we have a consultation call. Well, we always ask the question. What, how do you picture your future partner to be? Like, what's the age gap? You know, what does she look like? All this sort of stuff. Because it gives us a good indication as to whether or not we can help this person. And so when we ask this, uh, this question, uh, we explain the 23% uh, percent, uh, uh, gap. But we also say we will test you out in the market. So we always say we will throw you out into the market and the market will detect, uh, um, dictate your price in the market. If we put you out to much younger woman and they're all knows, that is your price. We don't dictate the price. Some people seem to think that we don't allow big age gaps. That's not the case at all. It's just that we can't make women date older men. In fact, many of the women, they say beforehand, I don't want anybody with an age gap you know, older than 10 years or something like that, regardless of what you see online. That, you yeah, know, that's want, what I want to say. That you know, unfortunately, sometimes we um, have a calls like still we have calls with the guys who are doing the letter writing. Like we honestly, with Striker, thought that this not even exists. But there's two um, evidence, right? E evidence, uh, confirmation for that. That one, it was the agency who reached out to us, who is doing letter writing, and they wanted to become our partner. We said no to them, but I kind of like start asking them questions about letter writing, and they said that now it's like better than ever. I'm like, what? 
Like what? Like there's more clients, who, guys who are doing this letter writing? She said yes. And second is that uh, we have calls with the guys who spent enormous amount of money, 10,000, 15,000, 9,000, 5,000. It's just shocking for just letter writing that not even like a real person behind that. So the bottom line to that is that, of course, these websites are extremely sweet for the guys yes because like you talk to the lady like you are 50 she's 20 she say age doesn't matter i've been there guys i've been doing that for many years unfortunately i know all that and i know exactly what you feel when the beautiful lady tell you like oh no 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 like it doesn't matter like how old you said oh it doesn't matter you know like it doesn't mm -hmm. matter but it does matter it does matter and also like today i don't want to be rude but i you know we're all getting older and i said that to striker today that you know there's a people and i see that you know most of our clients and most of Western guys, and I always speak about that, they have a very, very, very young spirit. They have a very energetic uh, soul and they active. And like I compare, for example, some of our clients with my dad and I see significant difference. Even though my dad is still active, but I would never imagine him on the dating market or, or any, like it's kind of different, different dynamic, especially in Ukraine. People after 55 in Ukraine are dead, unfortunately, 90% of the time. On the West, 50, divorce, new woman, new wife, new life, everything. So it's very different. So I do believe that people in US looks better, act better, more active, like if they take care of themselves. But when the guy contact us and say like, I'm 60, but I look much better, I this, I this, I this, it's a little bit like it's your subjective opinion. So let's the market, as strikers say, judge, right? Like yeah. let, let's not even ask, like we are absolutely okay with any age gap, but we want you to be successful. We don't want to put like, we call it, uh, put uh, spaghetti on your ears, you know? I don't know, is it the phrase? It's a like, huh? yeah, 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 yeah. So we don't want to tell you like the lie and just tell you, yeah, whatever. Like, and we always, like everybody who've done the coaching call with us, a strategy call with us, they know, we always say, we can tell you, we can convince you to become a client with a, like very fast, but we don't want it because we want to make sure that you really can be successful and mm. your views and goals are matched with and expectations are matched with what we as a matchmaker can provide you. So are we still keen with our 23% rule? Very much. Mm. Is it flexible? Of course it's flexible, but in general, like if you are now watching this video and you're thinking, okay, like I'm 60 or, okay, let's say you're 60, um, what it will be 60 minus 23% would be 46 years old. And you think, oh, but I wanted 43. Is it possible? Is it doable? Of course, but it also depends where you live, how you look, how you take care of yourself, like how, how are you as a person? And uh, the best way to find out that is to talk to us and we will give you exactly how it is. Will you agree with what we say or will, will you not? It's of course up to you because maybe you are the 60 years old guy, very good, everything. But I will say, you know, your lady is really 53 plus. Like the lady is 46, she will not be interested in you. For whatever reason, maybe physical, uh, you know, appearance, maybe physical activity, maybe your lifestyle, whatever. I will tell you how it is. And then it's up to you to make a decision. Yeah, the reality is the reality of, what, of what's going to happen. So, and depending on how, like if you say to yourself, well, I want a 30 year age gap, whatever. Okay. Then, and, I'm, and I don't want anything else. And we've had, we've talked to guys like that. They say, I want like this 25 year age gap. And if I can't get that, I'll just stay single. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Like we're not saying that you have to like, change what you believe we're, we're simply telling you what we can you know possibly achieve for you what what we can do what's within our capabilities but you know we do know couples with big age gaps but i'm going to tell you how those big age gaps come about they don't come about through matchmaking because matchmaking it's not it's not reality it's like an alternative reality it has benefits it has a lot of benefits over going out there by yourself and doing it obviously it's time you know you're going to get coaching you know you've got a whole bunch of women who are already motivated to be in, in relationships or in a relationship so when it comes to the big age gap the big the way that these big age gaps start there has to be a few components here right one of them this is not essential but it will help if she has a few kids a couple of kids something like that and she is willing to bend on some of her requirements such as a larger age gap because she may see that well this guy you know my options are limited especially if she's from ukraine if she's got a couple of kids young kids you know like one two three years old young kids she's going to have to adjust a little bit right the same way that like if you would adjust if you wanted a big age gap and you got no response from the market you would have to adjust as well so she has to adjust to that so that can happen and i have seen this happen before another one is if you started out 
not in a romantic frame. So she was working for you, she was doing some work for you. This happens quite often with translators, I've seen this many times, big age gaps with translators because the, the, the younger translator, like a dating company or whatever, sees this older man taking care of women, he's responsible, he's well established, he takes care of himself and she thinks, this guy is great, like I seen this other side of him. You know, it wasn't like we were on a date, I saw him behind the scenes. It could be anything as well, a good friend of mine, he is with a woman who, I'm not sure if the age gap is really big, but I do think there is an age gap. And she, uh, he was working in Ukraine. He was going over there for his business and he met her through some business associates or whatever. And now they're together. But, you know, through a dating company, that probably wouldn't have worked because there's just, there's, there's more expectations, you know, because it's more choosy. This is the only case when uh, I would say that the relationship can start from the friend zone because we've done the video about the friend zone right like if the lady put you in, like if if the premise was that you were like start dating you know that you were in a romantic like if you were came to the matchmaker you introduced and then she put you in the friend zone there is almost no way to get out of that friend zone unfortunately but if relationship started like at work or somewhere as a friend and then they grow to something else this is the like because i've been yeah, asked okay. again like so this is the good thing this is the good thing and this uh, only like we would call it situational right like it yeah, is a situational situation. yeah but unfortunately um, like i i still have to admit that most of the couples with a very very significant age gap if there is not like if the relationship didn't grow into something else like maybe they have a couple of children together or something they probably will uh, and for example she's a single lady with no children like big age gap she fell in love with him for whatever reason but in a couple of years and 10 years like this relationship usually break up and i can tell that not like if i would work two years in the industry i would not see that but because i work 14 years i see that this like that that happened you know when people yeah. are uh when they got in a relationship they don't have children and then there's really like he grow older there's no connection between them and that is why that is the only one reason why me and striker do not recommend you guys to have a lady with a big age gap because we don't want you in the future not right now now you maybe will mm. be happy for a couple of years we don't want you to be hurt but yeah all relations even if it's a closer age gap there's always that three or four years at the start of the relationship, which is like, you know, they call it the honeymoon period, but there's actually evidence. It's good if it is three or four years. Yeah, well, well there's actually evidence from an, an evolutionary standpoint is that that three or four years, it's like built into, you know, our our DNA or into our, even into our psyche to stay with the same person for three or four years and to be in really in love with them because that is the, the most crucial stage of infancy for a child. Mm -hmm. So our bodies have evolved to make us want to stay with the same woman. After that, it's like, eh, see ya. So you really have to, if you understand that, if you believe that, and there's actually research on this, if you actually believe that, then you understand that after three or four years, your relationship is gonna shift into another realm, into another level not drop down off a cliff and then you break up, but say, okay, well, it's gonna be a different type of relationship. There's gonna be a different type of love, perhaps, um, when you go into that. So, I don't know, that's quite interesting. Go research that. They should be, and I will. I, I strongly believe that, you know, like, they, there's a book, right? Like, the love lives for three years. Does it or no, like, you know, who, who like, everybody's subjective, you know, and what is love for you? And we discussed that, you know, what is love? Who, like, how to measure that? Like, it's it's feelings or what, like, like it, it's a very long topic and that we're not gonna discuss here, but, that I believe that relationship should, should grow um, into something else, mm. like into something, like it's like a river and then it goes to a big like lake and then, you know, to the sea, like that is how it should be. Because if you are thinking that only on this chemistry that you have on the first date or, uh, or anything like you can hold the relationship forever, unfortunately, it's not like that. Yeah. It's our emotional bucket that we speak a lot about uh, in Ascent. Uh, yeah, join Ascent down below it's for actually we may not be free for much longer yeah I, i've been sort of thinking about a new way to kind of do this so if you want to get the free version probably do it now maybe in a month it's that that's going to kind of be taken away uh like, check the sand and check the yeah. emotional bucket it's a very important topic like that we will not discuss here on youtube because it's more specific but we like it came because in like we have some problem with the toilet in the, in the bucket uh, and then uh, this idea mm. of emotional bucket come to us but it's a, a private topic but anyway but we is that how we come up with our of course, topics is it like we were keeping toilet. our bucket full and uh, yeah yeah so check it out and uh, just be reasonable and realistic and i promise you that you will find 
the right woman for yourself. Yeah, and if you want to book a consultation with us to help you get started on the right path, whether it's using us or not using us, going and doing it yourself, check or the link down below. maybe not doing it at all. Yeah, or maybe not doing it. Check, check the link down below because we have sometimes people messaging us or even in the comments saying, what do you guys actually do? Do you have a way that we can talk to you? And we say it in, under every video. So we're just saying it here now. If you're thinking that, yes, you can. That's all for now. We'll see you in the next one.